to the award-winning WZBN News. Right now, let's continue with tonight's broadcast. For half a century, it served the FDNY and its firefighters well, including assisting with the rescue efforts on September 11, 2001. Now it's entering a brand new chapter of its life. Since 1958, the Smoke 2 has served as a command post for FDNY marine operations, and in 50 years' time, there were plenty of those. Perhaps its biggest role takes it back to that unforgettably unfortunate day seven years ago that changed America. Being a New York City fire vessel, it's actually a 50 51 foot pumper that was used on 9-11 to transport some injured firefighters as well as a command vessel and uh, it had been retired and uh, had a lovely ceremony. Following its farewell celebration in New York Harbor, it was towed south to Point Pleasant, New Jersey, where, like many retirees, it will escape the hustle and bustle of America's largest city. The Smoke 2 now begins a brand new phase of its life, one that will make it an underwater vessel. People are very pleased how nice an idea, something that will be out there permanently. It will now serve as an artificial reef for marine life in the Seagirt Reef. That's about three and a half miles northeast of Manasquan. Its engines, electrical system, and other components were taken out per U.S. Coast Guard regulations. The vessel was also cleaned before going underwater. For Stetter, it's all in memory of her fond companion, Ed Bogart, an avid scuba diver and water sport enthusiast. He spent 28 years as a police officer in West Caldwell and uh, did everything along with that, first aid, rescue, and so on, uh, and once he retired from that, he looked ahead uh, before retirement, got his captain's license. And this was just a new beginning of Bogart's love for the underwater. He certified so many people up and down the East Coast as divers as well as instructors. He was one of the first people to put together the instructor training program. He became the East Field Commissioner for the YMCA. Stetter also thanks the thousands of people who came through with donations and other contributions that made the sinking in Ed's memory possible. We started putting together uh, pictures and so on uh, to collect donations at some of the dive events, the Ocean Wreck Divers Flea Market, Beneath the Sea, and some of the others. Uh, but before that, we actually spoke with the Reef Commission to see if we could do something of this sort in Ed's memory. We wanted to do something to commemorate him. In memory of Bogart and all those who lost their lives on 9-11, New Jersey now has its own Pearl Harbor type of memorial. Our thanks to WZBN photojournalist Gary Say for his underwater footage. Mark Fontes, WZBN News.